never wear the hoods on my hoodies. I should do that sometime. I just, I feel like it makes me very emperor looking though. <laughs> Yes. Guys, so check it out. Easy DIY is a brand I just kind of s discovered. Suscovered. Suscovered. Yeah, I kind of suscovered this brand on accident. In fact, uh, when I was looking at the RAM heat sinks, I wanted to find out if there were some that actually could talk to motherboards. Make sure I'm in focus here. Motherboards. Things like RSync, MSI Mystic, uh, Gigabyte Fusion, and ASRock RGB. And uh, I found them with Easy DIY. So I did a video on that. I'll post it whichever corner is the correct corner it's always backwards when I'm looking at it if you're interested I also found fans and and uh, fan grills so here's the thing about the fan grills because that's what this video is going to be about is the fan grills the problem is they're twelve dollars ish per grill so it's not like you want to go purchase a bunch of fans and then you know five six fans and then spend you know almost sixty something plus dollars on fan grills to RGB them. At that point, you probably should just buy some RGB fans because we all know fans like Noctua are just designed around what people want: brown and tan in their fans, right? So yeah, there's that. But uh, anyways, if you want to make existing fans that are already good that you've had for a while that are going to keep going for you, keep living for you, and you want to make them look prettier, then twelve dollars per fan grill is not a real bad idea to upgrade the aesthetic of the fans. I don't think anyways. I mean, of course you could always spend your money on better things like food and drinks and stuff like that. But if you have the extra money to kick at some extra aesthetic boost for your fans, then something like these easy DIY fan grills would be great. Is this concept new? No, not at all. Because I think Fantex a couple years ago actually started doing this and that's a brand that we all pretty much know. But besides that, this is an alternative that you can look at if you're interested in it. Now the reason I'm liking this easy DIY stuff is because this company so far has been super impressive with the continuity and uniformity of how all their stuff works. All their remotes are correct. All of their patterns and lighting features match up so you can mesh it all together. If you decided to go with the easy DIY heat sinks, if you decided to go with the easy DIY fans and for some reason still needed a fan grill for something, you can do that and make it look really good. And that's something I like. Now, the lighting features are a lot. There are a lot of lighting features. So at the end of this video, after I say have a great day, night, whatever it is, I will try and post right there at the end just like I did with the up here fans, a video so that you can watch me kind of cycle through the different effects and modes. I do also want to mention, you may have black fans, you may have white fans. For instance, if you purchased an NZXT case, you'll likely have white fans in that tower. White fans tend to do a lot better because white reflects the color back where black absorbs more color. Science or something with blacks and whites. Black absorbs, white reflects. I definitely think it looks a little bit better on white fan blades than it does on black fan blades, and it is pretty bright. You can also make them very dim, you can make them very bright, you can make them very very fast, you can make them very slow, and you can do all kinds of great things. On top of that, they all have a split pin connection so that you can hook them all together and you can daisy chain as many of them as necessary. I don't think you're going to run out of your daisy chain power unless you have some absurd amount of fans in your tower that you're putting fan grills on. Also, if you don't already have something or you don't prefer to use something that's already on your motherboard or your motherboard's manufacturer ambient LED or RGB aesthetic lighting, you can also just stick with the remote and go through all the functions. Again, that I'll show you at the end of this video. If that's something that you would prefer, I think that that's kind of nice. It's nice that you can go both directions with this, that you can tie it in with your RGB aesthetics of the motherboard manufacturer, assuming you have it. But if you didn't, you can just Molex it in and you can sync all your lights together, assuming that you kind of go the route of easy DIY. Once you start mixing these brands together, like I had mentioned in another video, you'll notice that some of them aren't on the same page. They're going to have different pre-programmed functions in their hub or in their RF sensor that are going to be off. So if you mix up here an easy DIY, why not all of it's going to be the same by the time you're going through the modes it's going to be a little difficult to sync them up i'd recommend sticking with one brand whatever brand it might be that you pick but things like this are pretty cool and i imagine you could find some more affordable versions however easy diy really is hitting some home runs with how they look now inside the ring itself you can see where the leds are but when they're all mounted in the tower it's not really something that bothers me i don't think it'll bother you but if you look close at the inside of the ring you'll see the hot spotting obviously these leds get pretty bright in order to reflect out onto the fan blades again white probably looks a little better than black, but they both work exceptionally fine, I think. Anyways, guys, we'll cut it here. There's not a whole lot to say about it. These don't increase performance. They increase aesthetics and change the look and appeal. You can mount them to either side of the fan. They come with a bag of screws so that you can long mount the fan in. Just put your screwdriver through, mount your fan in there. If you're going into a radiator, they also give you the extra long screws for screwing through a radiator if that's something that you need. And then you just mount the bracket on top and uh, plug it in and let it go. I would definitely try to orient the direction. If you go with more than one of these, I, I would assume most people will go 
go with more than just one, but maybe not. Uh, make sure that you're orienting your cables in the same direction because that'll be important for the flow of the lights while they're spinning, while they're doing their effects, doing all that fun stuff, so that all of the features will look the same and be in uniform. Have a great day, night, whatever it is. Enjoy some of these ending shots here. Hopefully it'll show you if this is something that you were looking at and you needed to see a little bit of video about. I hopefully have that here. All right, great day, night, whatever it is. I'll see you in the next video that I do. Yeah.